just going to make sure that I am there. So eventually, because last time I did this, I didn't, I didn't record. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's recording now. Sir, I did them and you gave me three out of 10. Yes, there's some people that I didn't give the mark to because um, now if I did that and I marked you down and you didn't get a good mark and you say I did it, uh, it could be because you didn't actually present what I wanted you to, sh to do. I don't want you to present me the sort of the green tag thing that says you're finished. No, I, no, that's not what I'm after, right? What I want you to present to me is what I'm going to show you today. So if, and, and uh, those people that did it and made that mistake, you can submit again and I will mark it again and you can uh, improve your mark up to 10 out of 10. Yes, you can repeat it, absolutely. So that's the purpose. That's why I, uh, I, want, you to, uh, I, I want you to sort of uh, get it right. You got a chance to do this again. It's, that, that's the way I work with the labs. All right, so um, let's have a look at what I meant. Uh, we looked at introduction last time and the exercise that you were to do there was uh, when you try it yourself, you see the thing on, on both sides, but when you try it yourself, you should be able to change some things here. Now, what if I change this page title here? And I said, you know, like this is gonna be Mark's page. And then I put here, Mark's first <clears throat> heading. Somebody saying something, uh, then run. What I see is Mark's first heading, but I don't see anything that says Mark's page. Uh, and that's because I'm not running this in a, in a, um, on a browser. Uh, in order to see the Mark's page, we would see it on a browser. And that's what we're gonna do in the kind of the next exercise when we look at the HTML editors, because the idea in the, now, now so going, sorry, I'm interrupting myself here. Is somebody trying to say something? Um, but um, this is what I wanted you to submit. So, th so uh, that's what I'm looking for. So you should uh, take your snipping tool and this is what I want to be, I want to see in the results. I wanna see this thing here with your name in it, right? That should be put into a Word document. And um, that's the type of thing that I'm looking for, right? And something that shows that you actually did it. And you can show that you actually did it just by going into the HTML code and editing something there. So, um, um, so this would be intro. And then there's that. And the next one is uh, editors. Okay, and then we, so that I'll just put that away for now and we'll get back to that, All right? So the next thing there is the editors one. How you would do that is, um, so finish this one. What if you should read through the, sorry, you should read through the exercise first, see what, the, see what it's on about. I'm gonna go to the editors one now. Okay, so it tells you that there's these exit editors that you might have heard of or not. Maybe you've used Notepad. I'm recommending to you. Uh, I'm recommend, re recommending to you. Um, what is it? Visual Studio Code, and that's because that's the one that our instructors in the follow-on courses, when you do your uh, further software studies, they are be, they'll be using that. You do not have to use Visual Studio Code. You could use Notepad. All right, um, you can use brackets. And some students told me I want to use brackets. That's fine. To be honest, <laughs> I have to tell you this. To be honest, I won't even know what editor you've used. That's the sort of the beauty of HTML. One of the students in a previous lesson uh, uh, said something about, um, you know, be, being able to be used on multiple devices. Yeah, I mean, HTML, it'll run on your uh, laptop, it'll run on your mobile phone, it'll run on your um, Linux device, it'll run on your Apple device. Um, yeah, it's truly sort of multi-platform. Uh, and so I, 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 no way I'm gonna know, uh, w did you do it in, in um, you could do it in Microsoft Word. You know what I mean? Uh, you, know, you can save it as, save it as a text uh, file and then change the uh, extension to HTML. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, you use the editor that you like, that's fine. But uh, the reason why I'm recommending Visual Studio Code to you is because Visual Studio Code, you will see it a lot because I, uh, in talking to the, um, the instructors uh, that are doing web uh, in the second and third year, 
uh, they are using Visual Studio Code with their students. So, you know, you get, might save yourself some time. But, you know, uh, on the other hand, learning lots of different editors, I suppose that can't hurt. Um, all right, so the idea here is that you have some code here. And what you want to do with this code is you want to put it into an editor. Now, you know, we can save ourselves some typing just by copying it and then get whatever editor we like. As I told you, I like Visual Studio Code. Some student, students are going to use brackets. It's fine. Uh, uh, well, I just spent five minutes blabbering about that. You probably don't want me to hear me talk about it too much more. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. There it is. Or, no, or yes, it is. And um, I want a new file. So I got my new file. I'm just going to paste that stuff in there, right? And, oh, and you might say, oh, so what, right? I'm going to save this. And you can save it anywhere. Uh, let me save it. Um, well, let me just save it on the desktop for now. Now, when I save it, I must be very, very careful to save it as the right type of file. Um, so this is going to be... Um, whatever um what, what are we doing uh, editors yes so editors um and i'm going I, I i actually have to say here that the type is uh that the file name is html and to th the other thing i have to do is i actually have to choose the type as being html and so then that saves and we see subtly you may have noticed that uh, a couple of colors changed there, um, like the HTML. So this is some prompts that are built into the Visual Studio code so that those things work. Now, that document is now saved onto my desktop. Um, it's going to be one of these things here, right? Uh, that's a JPEG. Hold on. Why? It'll be... Oh, where are you? <laughs> uh, didn't, I, didn't I save that on the desktop? Uh, well, I better go back and get that document again. Make sure that I have saved it there. File save as. Um, yeah, it's on the desktop. Editors.html. Um, yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, I, everything I've been using has been using a Google. Set. There it is there. So now all I need to do is open. A, I, I can open that in whatever browser I want by right click, open with, pick a browser, right? Pick whichever browser you like. Or I could just double click on it and it'll open using whatever default browser I've set up on this computer. It looks like um, my default browser might be... Um, the the um, explore uh, browser uh, the the Microsoft browser so if I double click on that that should open in the Microsoft browser and now what you should see okay my first heading my first paragraph and uh, it's not very sort of helpful there at the top there let's let's open open it in a in a different browser open with Google Chrome yeah, um, Google Chrome does this better. So what I see up here is that the the tab has got a name on it, which says editors.html. And then we have my first heading and my first paragraph. So if I now go, if I now go back into my editor, I can see where did that come from? What's, come on, open up, where are you? Uh, it's, I'm still trying to save it. That's right. I, okay, so do you see here the name there is is um, is uh, editors dot um, html? And that's because I haven't actually done anything in the head. This document is so simple it doesn't even have a head. So let's put a head in it. And do you notice I didn't type the second head? That's the cool thing about using. Uh, about using Visual Studio Code is it sort of helps me in building my work, right? So there I've got, that is just working for me automatically. I, I, when you type one tag, it puts the end tag on there for you. So what I'm gonna put in, the, in this head is I'm gonna put the title. Oh, I should learn how to type title, right? 
And so when I close that, you see automatically the other title thing comes up. And now I'm going to say Mark's editor page. And if I save that, um, now I could just save using Control S, right? Uh, so this is this is kind of the yes, replace it. This is kind of the slow way of doing it. Um, now what I've actually got here in my um, in Visual Studio Code is I I actually have a uh, they should have a lightning bolt thing there that should just be able to run run without debugging. So why are you explaining HTML from the beginning? Is that boring for you? No, it's just like I know this information. We took it last semester. Oh, uh, you did. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to uh, well, rather than explain HTML from the beginning, then if it's uh, if this is kind of old for you, I, I I'm just going to focus on what do I want you to do. All right. What do I want you to do? So um, no, it's fine. You can explain it from the beginning because there might be some people who didn't take it. Yeah. All right. So whatever. Now you can. I'm not sure what you want now because you said you want that. <laughs> <laughs> then then you now you don't. Uh, <laughs> do you notice in the title? I changed the title here, and do you see what's happened in the in the um, browser? So there's my title is showing up there. So. Just to prove that this is my website, I put my title in there. I put here, here, just that's sort of overkill. And I'll save that, Control S, and, and we see all of those things happening. Now, now what do I want you to to um, put into the Dropbox is now I can see my Visual Studio is working here and I can see my uh, browser here and I can see the results from my Visual Studio and my browser there. So that's what I'm going to snip. And- Sir? Yes? Uh, how many of those tutorials do you want us to do? Yeah, okay, so good point. That is, so that's what I'm trying to make clear today. Um, back to this. So I put that in there in the under editors. And what do I want you to do today? So uh, there's the editors. You can see that I've got an editor open. You can see that I've got a browser open. That's what I want you to be putting into the document. Your document that you're uploading to the D2L should look something like this. All right, so how many of those do I want you to do? Well, you can have a look at the W3 Schools page. And this is what I want you to do. Okay, so the stuff above, that was yesterday. The stuff in yellow, that's today. And that's what I want you to do. Um, so taking into account the sort of feedback that I've just had in the last kind of five minutes, um, maybe you don't want me to go through all of these. And to be honest, I don't want to go through all of them either. And I think they are kind of self-explanatory. Um, but what I wanted is I wanted to make sure that you all understood what I'm expecting uh, in, the, um, in, in the thing that you're going to upload to, D2, uh, to D2L. And this is what I'm expecting. And so you're going to save that. Oh, the other thing is, yeah, I had, I had a, one student um, uh, submitted something with the RAR. Um, that will take me longer to mark because I'll have to open it on my laptop because I don't have a, um, a decompression uh, program for RAR files on my, on my college um, computer. Now, I need to tell you that the college computers are very tightly controlled by the IT department. Um, so what that means is, uh, we, as, uh, you don't need to try more than one editor. No, just use, yeah, the, the, no, you do not need to try more than one editor, just use one editor, but it should be a, a, a editor that you would feel comfortable in building websites in it. So that's why I'm recommending visual studio code. It's got enough sort of power behind it to help you a lot. Uh, brackets is fine. Um, maybe Notepad++, but I really recommend Visual Studio Code, all right? Um, so, uh, yeah, if you want to compress files, 
uh, I would, um, if I'm going to market on my computer, your work, uh, what I've got is I've got the inbuilt sort of WinZip um, that comes with uh, with uh, Explorer, with Microsoft Explorer. And so it'll, it'll unzip WinZip files. Um, I do have on my laptop, I can unzip every kind of file. So, you know, and if I couldn't, I could find something on the internet. But the thing is, as I said, I could find something on the internet. Anybody can do that, but I cannot install it on my, on my work computer. And um, that's because of the tight control that the IT department has on our computers. And that's because they don't want viruses going all around the place and everything. So they don't actually let teachers, not even us IT teachers, install software on our computers. The only so software that's on there is software that's been installed by the IT department. And they haven't installed anything that will decompress an RAR file. So that's why I'm saying that if you do uh, upload um, in strange formats like RAR, I can do it, but it might take me extra time. Now, that wasn't a rant or anything. I'm not, uh, don't worry, I'm not sort of angry. I'm just trying to explain if it takes a bit of time for me to mark it. Um, right, so um, we were, let's save that. So this is the document that you could upload. If it's a Word file, you can just upload the Word file. Now, we, now back to the compression thing, compressing, Later on, you will be uploading the HTML files. These files that you that you see here. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to put these away so we can see it. So, I mean, I just created this file here. You'll be uploading files like that later. Now, those should be compressed, and ideally, they should be put into a folder. You know, so I mean, so when you do a project, you know, so this could be today's work. What's today? Uh, Jan January uh, seven. Um, uh, W3 schools stuff. This would be ideal. I mean, it, you could do this uh, and you just put your your work in there like that and then and then this you could send to a um, to a um, compressed file. And that could be uploaded and that would work for me quite nicely too. So I hope that sort of helps and uh, that p everybody will understand. I, I, I don't think that me talking too much more now is going to add much benefit. So what I want to do is, um, oh, goodness gracious, I put, put Zoom down. Oh, here it is. So what I want to do now is I want to um, uh, pause.